I'm going to keep you there. We've got out in the hallway the state runner-up West Lion Girls Basketball Team. <laughs> to give you a little recap of our season, we started game one here at West Lion with a loss to Central Lion and then rolled off 24 consecutive victories after that. <laughs> Guarding your memory, on Saturday, January 16th, we headed over to Central Lion and beat them 42-34. And that was the first win over Central Lion since 2018. Yes. Later on, on February 9th, we defeated Sibley for the first Siouxland Conference title since 1999. Yeah. During this season, Kendi Kramer broke the West Lion record for steals. Brooklyn Meyer broke the West Lion record for scoring, and the team defense broke the record for the fewest points allowed in a game when they allowed 15 to Sioux Center on January 26th. As you also might remember, the big breakthrough this year happened on Saturday, February 20th, when the girls defeated Bishop Elon 47 to 41 for their first trip yeah. to the state tournament since 1998. Let's meet our team. I'm going to start with our cheerleaders who all year, and let's give them some recognition, please. Jenna Luthold, Ann Hogendorn, and Chloe Bowen, and Ella Luthold. We're going to bring out our managers, Caitlin Lapka, Grace Bowder, Ellie Whalen, and Isabel Metzger. And then right behind her, we all need to give a big thank you. She's at every single Westline girls and boys basketball game. She does a tremendous job for Westline. Give it up for her. Okay. Okay. All right. She's a freshman standing five foot eight from Larchwood, Iowa. Give it up for Abby Nova. He's a sophomore from Larchwood, Iowa, standing six foot, number 34, Emily Twerweed. <laughs> a sophomore, five foot six, from Inwood, Iowa, number 20, Gianna Clarney. A sophomore, standing five foot six, from Larchwood, Iowa, number 40, Randy Children. Another sophomore standing five foot seven from Leicester, number 42, Kendra Boat. Yeah. Rounding out the sophomore class, standing at five foot six, number 44 from Inwood, Maddie Johnson. Yeah. Let's meet our juniors, standing five foot seven, number 12 from Leicester, Mallory Gramstead. Standing six foot one, a junior from Larchwood, number 24, Xavier Metzger. She owns the West Lion record for most points scored for a girls basketball player. Give it up, six foot two from Larchwood, Brooklyn Meyer. A five foot six junior from Larchwood, number 32, Morgan Grumball. And today they took off the West Lion uniform for the last time and they did so with runner-up fashion at the state tournament. Let's meet the senior class. From Larchwood, five foot eight, number two, Kennedy Kramer. <laughs> Standing at six foot earlier today, she was announced to the all-tournament team at the state tournament. From Larchwood, number four, Haley Kapla. And five foot nine from Larchwood, number ten, Taylor Rexler. And standing at five foot seven, number fourteen from Lester, Emma Meyer.
Give it up for our freshman coach, Bubba Hawk! Our two volunteer assistants, say hello to Jeff Hookamy! And keep it going for Jamie Carolyn. And ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome in the head basketball coach, Mr. Ryan Brasser. writing a piece of Westline history with you. This year, 2021, is the year that this basketball team will go down in Wildcat history. This is the year you became legacies at Westline. And to my fellow team, yeah. And to my fellow seniors, Kennedy, Haley, Taylor, and Emma, she's on vacation now. Wow, what a way to remember our senior year. We left a mark here, you left a mark here. But now our time is coming to a close, and it's sad, but at the same time, we get to take a part of all this with us. The memories and life lessons we learned here in these gyms and in these halls. Let's take these memories with us the rest of our lives, because once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Thank you. How's my? Good evening, Wildcats. Woo! For those of you who don't know me, I'm Tom Rentschler. I've got four great kids, Mitchell, Taylor, Emerson, and Riker, and a beautiful wife. Woo! <laughs> Taylor is a senior on the basketball team. Have you ever had a moment where you got a question that just bounces around in your mind? So this Thursday, we had been Cherokee, came home, and at 10.15, I had a question pop in my head. At 10.14, I got a call from a Mr. Gavin Brent. So I answered the phone on my cool iPhone, internet, Apple Watch. Hello. This is, this is how the conversation kind of Hello? Hello? Gavin, buddy. Hello? Are you there? Can you hear me? Hello? Quick. So the question that popped in my head, obviously he called the wrong wrench. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, did he, did Gavin say that he talked to your super cool dad? <laughs> no? Well, he did. <laughs> Question answered, thank you. I'm so proud of you, Wildcat. I'm so proud of these girls and all the accomplishments that they've done. Hey, I know this loss stings, but think of all the memories you guys have made. Those you're gonna cherish forever. In a week, you're gonna be going, hey, remember at state basketball when Wrigley ran away? We are all heartbroken? Aww. And I was about, to bomb it when I heard that? Well, we found it. Highway 9, run along. Two weeks are going to go, hey, remember when we stopped at Juice Stop before the game? Man, that was awesome sauce right there. That was great. And three weeks are going to go, remember 
at State Basketball, we're on the bus, and everybody was puking? What the heck, man? Jeez. Those are the memories you're gonna cherish forever. I'm so proud of these guys. Oh my gosh, and all their accomplishments. I just wish them the best of luck in the future, whatever you guys pursue, seniors, whatever you guys do next year, juniors, underclassmen, who's proud to be a Wildcat? will be memories we cherish, cherish forever. Uh, thank you also for always being so patient with us when we mess up the stats or film, uh, or supposedly lose the keys to the school suburban. <laughs> it's okay, Brasser, my lips are sealed. We have all thoroughly enjoyed every minute of our years with this team, and you five are a very big reason why. You put your all into every single game and never failed to impress anyone that watched. You girls shine on and off the court, and we know that you will continue to exceed our expectations in all aspects of life. Thank you for making us managers feel like a part of your family. We will never forget the memories you helped us to create. Hey ladies. Thank you, ladies. Next up, I would like to ask one of West Lion's biggest and most beloved fans, Miss Pam Hawk. Woo! Well, I would put this on my phone, but I wouldn't be able to read it. So. Wow, what a historic season we have had this year. Went from COVID passes to get into games, to empty gyms where the coaches had to adjust their voices. Then we went to wristbands for entrance. And then finally, half fans and the return of the band. Yeah. Kennedy broke the school record for the most steals. Woo. Brooklyn became the all-time leading scorer and went over a thousand points. Woo. Coach Brasser picked up his hundredth win. Woo. The JV girls went 20 and 0. Yeah. And the varsity girls, Siouxland Conference champs. Yeah and state runner-ups. Thank you for letting me be a part of that history. Seniors, 
I'm gonna try not to cry. <laughs> Kennedy, Haley, Taylor, and Emma, I still cannot believe you filmed on top of the school for the Casey's hometown video. It was awesome. It was definitely the most unique one that I saw. And for that reason, that's what type of leaders these seniors are. It's the underclassmen that are here. If you follow in their footsteps, both on and off the court, West Lion basketball has got a great upcoming. Thank you, seniors. Speaking of our seniors, You may know, every year a word, quote, or even phrase usually arises sometime throughout the season and becomes a motto for our team. These words and phrases are thought about, talked about, and act as something that the team and coaches can all learn from. At the beginning of the year, our motto was a penny on the track. This taught us how to deal with adversity we face this season. A penny represents any hardship or circumstance that may hinder our team's success. If we kept the penny on the track, our train would easily derail. But if we simply overcame that hardship and removed the penny, our train would stay on track. We worked as a team to remove those pennies, which is the main reason as to why we were able to play the first girls basketball state championship since 1998. <laughs> Another more recent motto that we have been going by is the word together. We play together, we win together, we lose together, and we stay together together with our teammates, coaches, managers, and also together with our community. We wouldn't be where we are without all of you who have supported us throughout the entire season. All the way from a simple good luck to making the five hour trip to cheer us on at the state tournament. So with that being said, we would like to thank these people for helping us make this season what it has come to be. We would like to thank our teachers for working with us, janitors, and administrators for setting up the painting after us, the pet man, student section, and fans for pumping us up and supporting us on game days. Thank you to our parents for everything they've done for us, as well as our coaches, spouses for allowing them for the many hours they spent in the gym with us. Thank you to Ms. Tweet King for morning, morning yoga, Darla for weight room supervision, Chad for keeping us healthy, Jeremy for scheduling and organizing everything, and managers for helping keep everything in line. Lastly, we thank our coaches and teammates for helping us achieve something that we have been dreaming about since we were little girls. We couldn't have gotten there with, here without all of you. So, not only was that trip to Des Moines a blast for us girls and coaches, but hopefully for all of you too. Memories were made that will last us all a lifetime. I hope that breaking down this wall in West Lion Girls Athletics will get this ball rolling for every other sport and future generations to come. We are really blessed to have this opportunity to play our last games in the well. Emma flew off to Florida from Des Moines, but was not able to make it. But with that being said, her, number 11, number three, number five, are signing off. Oh. Good job, ladies. Given a pregame talk because it's been about the same thing about six, seven games in a row. But uh, it's something we really bought into, and uh, 
obviously had some success with that. And it's just overcoming adversity, um, knowing mistakes are going to happen, knowing missed shots are going to happen, turnovers are going to happen. Um, and obviously going down to the state tournament for the first time in, in a long time um, before any of these girls were born was uh, we knew that there was going to be some adversity. And so being able to overcome it together, um, not many teams can, can make a mistake. And, you know, whoever it was looked over and we just struck it off and kept playing. And so that was, that was something special that I noticed with our team. Um, but obviously, thanks to all the fans for making the trip down, those of you that, that are able to come down uh, today or uh, Thursday also, or, or coming down all three days, that's, that's awesome to have Wildcat Nation there. Um, thanks to all the parents for all the goodie bags, all the treats. Trust me, I was probably more happy than anything else to get those on the way down. So, uh, thanks to the pet band for being there all the time. You guys are awesome. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a fellow bander too, so I can appreciate you know, all, all the, the, the vibe and the <laughs> atmosphere that you guys create. Thank you so much. Um, love that. Yeah. Quick story on the goodie bags. We'll get back to that for a second. <laughs> Coming home from the uh, state tournament game on Tuesday, uh, we decided to leave our two kids home, um, hoping that there'd be another uh, game that we could bring them down to. But anyways, we get home and uh, Christine and I are both exhausted. The kids are wanting to have some supper. And uh, so we had two goodie bags up on the, up on the uh, island in our kitchen, and uh, we weren't really feeling like making, making supper Tuesday night, so we just let the kid, kids run wild, and they had fruit snacks and Slim Jim, two fruit, yeah. and my wife kept, uh, kept nudging me and saying, hey, let's, let's make them some supper, and I'm like, they're fine, they got, they got everything they need, so. The goodie bags were not just enjoyed by the team and the coaches, but also Clay and Cohen. So, you guys like fruit snacks? Uh, thanks to Jeremy so much for, for all the uh, wristbands here and tickets there. And we need two more for tonight. And what happens if you have somebody playing here and your parents over there? And so, thanks for all the logistical things. Um, Thank you for uh, administration for, for working around all the class schedules and, and accommodating our requests to leave early and go practice in Sioux City. We have a beautiful gym here. Uh, all those things, thank you very much. Um, janitors uh, that set up today and, and every game um, thus far, thank you so much. I uh, don't know if any of them are here, but we appreciate their support. And uh, if you get a chance to thank them, and girls too, if you get a chance to thank the janitors, do that please. Um, Comparing some other pictures in the review, um, don't know how many how many teams have their uh, bookkeeper in the in the in the state qualifying photos, but we're so proud to have Pam with us. Uh, and uh, I know she enjoys doing it, and I know she loves watching the girls from the sidelines, but. We truly do thank you for all your work with us and everything you do and, and you, what you bring to the team. So thank you very much, Pam. <laughs> mentioned earlier, but thanks to my wife for letting me do what I like to do during basketball season and uh, taking the kids out to games. And thank you to all the other community members that have helped grab them before they run on the court or you know, sneak them some snacks or buy them Skittles or if they talk you into it. So thank you for that. Uh, thank you for making my wife and I feel welcome here in the community. Um, just love it here and having a lot of, a lot of fun and uh, just, just super happy to be fortunate enough to coach these girls and uh, make my job enjoyable. And uh, we got one trophy here uh, for girls basketball. I think we got five or six to go to keep up with, with uh, Mr. Balt and the band. Um, so we're trying because he got a little bit earlier start than we did, so. Thanks to my assistant coaches, they're great. Um, state tournament, when we, when we won the game at MOC against Helan, a lot of people uh, that I know that are coaches, either here or back home, said, you know, you're going to have a, a terrible week, you're going to enjoy it, but it's going to be so crazy busy, and I was able to pass off 
tons of things to my assistant coaches, and they did a phenomenal job planning meals and itineraries and uh, watching film for us uh, in the short turnaround between some games. So my serious, uh, sincere thank you to you guys for that. And uh, big thank you to our managers. You guys have done so much for us that uh, some of the things we know and some of the things we don't know, and for those of you that aren't uh, totally up to speed on the key story, I forgot my whiteboard in the car. We're giving pregame talk and uh, need my whiteboard, so Ellie ran out to the Suburban to get it for me. Um, she gave the keys back to me, apparently, I didn't know that, so we meet with you guys and then go back in and grab our stuff and come out to the cars, and I can't find the keys to the Suburban anywhere. And, uh, and I swear I don't have them. So I ask them, you know, check your pockets. Somebody's got to have them. Bubba jumped me back down to the locker room entrance, and I, I pulled him in the car. I said, I guarantee you we're going to get back up there. And somebody's going to be like, oh, sorry, they're in my pocket. So we go into the locker room, look all around. They're nowhere to be found. I dump out my entire bag, nothing. They were stuck in my binder. So <laughs> we lied to you guys. We just didn't want to stop like the kids coming back. And here. So the keys are in my bag the whole time. Uh, yes, and uh, this has been great. This has been great. Last thing, and then I'll be quiet. I gotta go home and eat something. I'm hungry. Uh, we uh, it, uh, asked some of the eighth grade boys to come in and uh, scrimmage us in practice throughout the year, and especially once it came to tournament time. Um, and so, those of you that are here, Tate, Bridge, Ben, Bryson, Carson, stand up. Don't mind. Anybody else here? That's Thank you very much, boys. We appreciate it. Um, the boys always think that they beat the girls, always. Okay, but it seems like those were only the days where we didn't have the scoreboard going. And every time the scoreboard was going and we were keeping score, they'll say we had some different scoring rules or the girls only played offense that day or whatever. But uh, no, it, it's a, it's a pretty close matchup, and we appreciate all your help with us. Uh, definitely an advantage uh, that we had compared to some other schools that uh, that didn't take advantage of that. So, thank you, boys. <laughs> Something else that's that's been really fun for uh, this season, and and uh, something I noticed that we are a little bit different than other schools. We have two of the best water girls in the whole state. Okay, Ava and Reese, if you want to stand up, we can clap for you. Okay. These girls take their job more serious than probably I do as a coach, and, and you know, they, they're phenomenal. Okay, so so girls, thank you so much. It was fun to uh, you know be have a chance to ask you real quick during the starting lineups. I just looked over and said, you guys are going to play here someday. Ava was confident. Reese said, I don't know. <laughs> so I tried to quick change, his, change Reese's answer to, to yes, and so she, she, she agreed. Um, but I see some other sixth grade girls up there too. The thing that I've been, that been telling uh, some of the papers and the TV stations is that even though this was a girls basketball victory, I feel like A, it was a community win, it was a program win, we really hope this continues on into um, next year. See some other girls here on our basketball team. Hope this continues into next year and, and down the road. Yes, um, and so, once again, thank you doesn't do justice, but um, being able to stand there and, and look up. The first game we were home, and so the crowd was behind us. It's so much fun being the visiting team uh, because we get to see you guys in the bleachers from our bench, and it's awesome. Okay. Uh, didn't have a ton of made three-point field goals today, but when we did, when we did, full crowd erupts. It's 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 a it's a feeling that you can't put into words. And so, thanks again to all the all the stakeholders here: fans, parents, managers, Pam, band, um, Nate. He's been here every game. All right. So, uh, thanks again for everything. It's it's uh, this season has been an absolute dream, and uh, thank you so much for for allowing me to do what I love.
All right, one last speaker for you tonight, Miss Jill Mesker, basketball mom and cheer coach. Senior, I knew you couldn't experience this without me talking one more time, so I'm here for you, babe. She won't smile, but in her heart, she's smiling. I know it. I... Oh, I got you covered. So I look at this team, and this isn't part of my speech, I just thought of it. They drive home all the way home. So if I look at this team, I think of two things. First of all, I think they are an amazing group of women. Yes. The second thing I think about is, gosh, I wish I would have invested in boots. Yeah. <laughs> God, I could have been a millionaire, right? I know we got stats, maybe for the boys. But for those of you who were at the pre-state announcer uh, pep rally that we did, I know that you've been waiting for two things. One is for these girls to play in a state championship game. Yes. And we did that. Woo. So cheers for that. And even though the final game, you, it wasn't victorious, for us, getting to that game was absolutely fantastic. Woo. This season's ride, I mean, it has been a ride. Nothing but fun and excitement as a parent, as a cheer coach, as a person in this community. It has been absolutely fantastic. So thank you, girls. I appreciate that. But, you know, I, want, I don't want you guys, you know, after the game, you kind of had your heads down and you were crying. And, and I know I was crying a little bit too, but that was probably because of the last 10 seconds. But <laughs> even though Bradford said, David, get in your corner and stay there. I, I might need you some other time, Brad, to tell her, get your corner and stay there, I'll call you. But, um, for sure, there are 62 other 3A teams that would trade places with you guys in an absolute heartbeat. And if we counted up the number of teams in 1A, 2A, 4A and 5A teams as well, we'd be over hundreds of teams that would take that game any day of their life. So be proud. Woo! All season long, I just kept telling myself, I just want to get through that state door. I want to, I'm sick of knocking on it. I want to get through that stupid thing. And it's really hard to prepare me. I actually have no control over it. But it's Fantastic. So anything after that game was icing on the cake, and I want you to know that as a community. And you guys not only gave us a cake, you gave us a double layer cake with icing and flowers all over that thing. It was fantastic, so thank you. The second thing I know that you've been waiting for since that pep rally has been another joke for me. Right, Raz? You've been waiting, right? Okay. So, this might not be, you know, I'm sure it's fantastic. but. Why can't a basketball player go on vacation? They can't travel! <laughs> also, we are very, very glad that the Pep Band was able to join us tonight because the music that I had picked up couldn't play it because Brooklyn and Kennedy kept breaking the records. Oh! oh You can laugh, it's okay. You can laugh at me. That's all right too, that's all right too. All right, so to get serious for a minute, this basketball season has been an amazing journey. As Wayne and Angie and I were talking in the hotel, they said, you know, this experience is gonna take just a little bit to process everything that's happened in the last couple of weeks and months. I think we all feel that way a little bit. It's kind of like, oh, I just gotta catch my breath and absorb that a little bit, right? But no matter how long we think about it, it will always, always, always be considered a success. You girls showed up. You represented yourself. You represented this school. And you represented this community and the entire section of Iowa like true champions, both on and off the court. Girls, you can't probably absorb this, how much pride that a community has in you. But it's there and it's immense. 
So appreciate that, because this whole entire community is behind you 110%. So I want to share with you, though, a few things that this week or this basketball season has reminded me of, okay? So first of all, Xavier's oh, injury. That reminded me never to take for granted the opportunities that you get, because in just a split second, it can be lost. But when we use these experiences to build character and rely on those that care about you, and you guys all care about each other, that's apparent, you will get through it and hopefully get stronger and even more determined. So I encourage you to apply this upcoming activities and life events that you're gonna be a part of, whether that's here or whether you win or lose, just keep working to get stronger and more determined in the skills and mindset that the good Lord gave each one of you. Second, Having teammates that you also call friends is a critical thing to being successful. And successful, you were. You ladies demonstrated teamwork like no other team that I saw in the state. Your ability to literally come together and form a wall that defended our, the basket for the other team so they couldn't score was fantastic. It was, at times, just an absolutely beautiful thing to watch how that all came together. Yeah. I do think that the only time I saw you guys break that togetherness and that team mentality was during your hotel room Wii tournaments, right? <laughs> Taylor Rensler, she was like, this is mine. Get out of my way. I'm taking Mario Kart and none of you can touch me. <laughs> and the other time, they reference this a little bit, is when someone on the bus says these magical words, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> These girls break eye contact and throw in their earbuds faster than Kennedy on a fast break after a steal. I tell you what, they duck and cover. So um, Dana, I do have a job for you as the only lady basketball coach. You need to teach these girls the girl code of where somebody's gotta hold the hair back. <laughs> Luckily I was on the bus, so I stepped up as mom and did the girl code, but they all gotta learn that. Like somebody's gotta step up and grab the hair. I've gained an immense sense of appreciation for our coaching staff. These men and Dana truly care about these girls. I know you know that, but I, I see it. I saw it on the bus driving down there. It, it's amazing. I know that you're working hard to make these girls not only better basketball players, but better women. The way you role model and the way you show the respect to these girls is a factor in the overall success of the court. You guys have something very special in your coaching staff. And they also do a great job acting, you know, you guys do a great job acting like you really care about what his parents tell you, so I'm glad, thank you. You don't make us feel stupid or anything. You're like, oh yeah, okay, great. Run the hip, walk away, and then, you know, you can ignore it later, it's all right. So, hopefully that conversation doesn't take up too much of your coach time in the, in the hotel rooms, but. So on a less serious note, I've also learned a couple things from listening to the game. First of all, I learned that Brooklyn and Emma are not related at all. Um, yep. I thought you were, but I'm really bad at family connections, so I guess I was confused. Um, I've also learned that Brooklyn is going to be playing basketball after high school for South Dakota State Coyotes. Yep. Yep. And that we are such a diverse team that sometimes we just magically become Central Lion. Yep. And that's just to kind of throw the other team off, right? They're just like, oh, it's Central Lion. Wait, wait, no, they're West Lion. Sorry, we're back again. Or, as one lady said to me, are you guys from West Lyon? <laughs> like, no, it's West Lyon. Thank you very much for knowing where we are in this room. But, in all sincerity, the last thing that I've been reminded about is that being a part of this West Lyon community is something very special. I know that you girls will hold different memories as special from this state tournament run. But I hope that one of those is remembering the elementary walkthrough you will never know the full impact that you had on some of these little girls or boys that got to take part in that small but very impactful event because of what you did this season. I don't even want you to put your head down ever because of not winning the championship game as that was one game in a huge experience of absolute awesomeness that you will get to um, experience because of your hard work and because of your perseverance. Basketball is a long season and you guys just kept fighting. So thank you for that. And also remember that you are each a part of the community where everyone is invested in you as a person, in you as a student, 
and in you as a player. So hold on to that experience as something truly special for the rest of your lives. I know that I will, this school will, and everybody sitting in this room will, and everybody who's been listening on YouTube and watching it and getting through that NFHS AQP website that we had, right? Um, so keep on to this and let it be the stepping stone, not the final accomplishment, to more great things in your future as a wildcat. Or for those of you who are seniors, or those who are going to be seniors next year, or next year, next year, next year, that it will be a stepping stone for you as you go through everything else. But I just want to say that there is softball coming up and stage for that. Okay, we're ready for that. So. And golf, and golf, and everything else that we have, right? So let's see what we can do. So there's really only one reason that I'm glad this season's over. And that's because I think I spent all the money that I made as a cheer coach on cheer candy. <laughs> so I'm about out of money on that, guys. But I appreciate that, all right? But um, you guys in the student section, thumbs up, fantastic. I love being next to you this whole week. But I do need your help one more time to close out. Because I need my girls, I need my cheer girls. Because we need to raise this roof in this gym in a way like we have never done that before. And I need you guys to stand up, everybody to stand up. All right, these girls need to hear your love, they need to hear your pride, and they need to hear what we have in our accomplishments. So when we say wild, you say cats. One, two, three. Taylor Rensler. 